Remember that cloud console box I talked about a year ago? I think it might be back. What's up everybody, Brad here, back again. And if you were able to jump into a time machine and go back to July 23rd, 2018, uh, I wrote up a bunch of stuff about Scarlet then, and we were starting to hear about the different consoles and all that stuff. And along that journey, we've been hearing about this cloud console thing that has existed but not existed. And now with Lockhart out of the way, and if you're not familiar with that, check out the link below. Um, I think the cloud console might still be on the agenda. Now, I don't know if this thing is going to launch when the Scarlet console does next year. I don't quite know the release cadence for this. What I do know is that I don't believe this cloud console box is dead. I think it's still being actively developed. Now with... But now with the Lockhart stuff out of the way, it's a little bit easier to digest some of the rumors and information that is coming out to me uh, from Microsoft. And so they have a cloud console box, which is a really low power, low latency device that is designed to connect directly to xCloud and give you a better experience. So let me, let me kind of play this out for you. Think about how Stadia works, right? They have that controller that connects directly to the router because it gives better performance and all that stuff. Um, it also just kind of makes the experience a little bit more seamless. Microsoft has a similar thing, and it's like a cloud console box that has a very little bit of, uh, amount of power, but what it's designed to do is to make the gaming experience just a little bit better than if it was directly playing from, say, like a TV or something like that. It's not quite a set-top box, and I don't think it's quite an Apple TV competitor, if you will, but I believe it is a box that would allow you to connect an Xbox controller, which, I, here we go, directly to it and then be able to connect to uh, xCloud and have a better experience than if you were say just running it through potentially a browser possibly. Uh, it, the details on this are still murky um, but I'm hearing that this project has not been killed and that it's actually still actively being worked on and so I think it's starting to make a little bit more sense about why they potentially killed Lockhart. If you think about the Xbox next generation lineup if you have this cloud console then you had Lockhart and then you had Anaconda or Scarlet as we now call it, it would be too much, right? Because think about the, the marketing pitch. It's like, okay, you don't want to spend all the money on Anaconda, uh, so you buy Lockhart. But why would you buy Lockhart when you can just buy the cloud console, which Microsoft is telling us is a great device. xCloud is a great service. So why should I pay more money for Lock Lockhart was just kind of stuck in this middle ground where it didn't make a lot of sense. And if Microsoft is really confident, which I'm hearing that they starting to become are with their X cloud service, selling a really, really low priced little box that does just a marginal, well, a marginal amount of compute makes a lot of sense. Cause you can imagine they can sell this thing for about 60 bucks, maybe toss in a controller for 75 or something like that, or 80 bucks. It would undercut what Stadia is currently selling, although I suspect that they will drop their pricing eventually too. We all know that. But it would make getting into xCloud really, really easy and super portable. You could think about how easy it would be to take something like that on the road uh, with you rather than trying to play it through your browser or anything else. Now, what type of compute would it have? The things that I had written previously, and I still got to dig around, is that this box would allow you to do things like moving around inside of a virtual environment. It wouldn't load any of the rendering, any of the bad guys, any of the text or any of that stuff. Just physically moving your character around in the environment because that is the most latency, latency sensitive uh, component of playing and so that is what it would handle and everything else would just be streamed from xCloud we will see if that still materializes I don't quite know but what I am definitely hearing is that this cloud console box is not dead and is still actively being worked on will it ship that we don't know I, I think it's pretty easy at this point to make a compelling case for it when you compare it to what Stadia is offering with their controller and we all know that xCloud will play in your browser and do just fine but you don't need that stuff but there's definitely going to be a middle ground of people who want a controller experience with their tv at home and that they don't want to buy an anaconda for 4.99 or whatever the eventual price point may be and their TV doesn't support the app. They need some way to connect on the biggest screen in their house. And ha having them take their laptop and plug it in, and do that's, not, that's not a good experience. So if Microsoft can sell a low-cost entry box that just basically connects to a controller, does very minimal amount of compute, keep it low-cost to bring all that xCloud experiences to the native uh, living room, that would actually be compelling. So I think that makes sense in the grand scheme of the Xbox environment. I'm still learning more about this thing and whether or not it's going to ship. I don't, someone's gonna write up, Microsoft's gonna ship an xCloud box or whatever it's called. And that is, I, I don't quite know that yet. 
I just know that it's still being developed and being worked on in Microsoft is in consideration of shipping this thing now that they're not moving forward with Lockhart. At least that's what uh, the sources are saying at this time. So guys, that's what you need to know about this Cloudbox thing. Um, we're still learning more. And as more information arrives, you will be the first to know. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are always in the loop.